8,000 RPM? Buckle up. Right now I'm stripping the interior of the green car and I'm uh, being reminded of one of the things I did, you know, in my teenage years. So this little device here on the back of the instrument cluster is a buzzer so that when you hit 8,000 RPM, which a rotary can do, no problem, don't try this in a piston engine car, <laughs> but when a rotary hits 8,000 RPM, the buzzer goes off. What I did, and I'm just being reminded of this now as I tear into the car here, as I pull away this pinch weld, um, I see this wire hanging down. And what it is, is I had wired the fasten seat belt light. So instead of the tack buzzer being plugged in right here, this black and red cable was plugged in so that instead of the buzzer going off, I had the fasten seatbelt light go off. You know, the red light would go off. Now, when you're at 8,000 RPM in a Mazda RX-3 with headers, you can't hear the buzzer, really. And so I thought it would be cool to have the little red fasten seatbelt light go off, which, you know, the peripheral vision's going to see that. Got a new fasten seatbelt indicator. Someone on eBay had a good price. Said, sign me up. Here it is. I'm gonna shine it up a touch with some black wow. It's already pretty clean. Everything's so fragile. Bulb looks good. Most important thing is this lens. Mine was disintegrated in both of my cars. So to find that one that was in good shape, I was happy about that. So an RX3, probably the RX2, there's a buzzer that goes off if you get too high in RPM. And by the time you're going that fast, you can't hear the buzzer, and it's annoying if you can hear it. I guess you can hear it in a stock RX-3 because it's got the proper muffler, but who has a stock RX-3, right? So what I did was I rerouted uh, the electricity, making the buzzer go off, to the fastened seatbelt light. So then I've got this visual while I'm driving, and as soon as I see that red light go off, I know I'm at 8,000 RPM. I'm going to put that wire in hazel here. And I was reminded about this right after I finished putting uh, the headliner in. I'm like, oh, I should have routed that wire. Genius! Now remember, when I did the headliner, I used tack it over and over. So this will come right out and go right back in. I like that. Without a sticky gooey mess. So the cable just went up the A pillar and off to the dashboard where the buzzer was. I know a lot of you guys' idea of cool mods is, you know, to drop a 13B turbo in your RX2 or RX3. For me, a cool mod was making the fastened seatbelt light go on instead of the buzzer, which is really annoying. Click the fastened seatbelt light lens on. Clicks in with a hinge towards the driver. And then there's a screw in the back. What is that in the rear view mirror? The original mirror off the 76 had a sticker right there. It was a factory Mazda sticker. It said Mazda and then it was kind of illegible. I couldn't see what it said after that. A little bit of debris left on there. I'll try to get it off. If I can't get it off, I will hit the back with the vinyl die with a black vinyl die. Let's see if our grease and wax remover will get that off. Ah, cool. Sort of. Yeah.
And that's with just a microfiber gauze. I'm actually going to hit this whole mirror because I am about to. I'm about to paint it. I could black wow it, but with that sticker residue, I'd rather just paint it and make sure it's covered. talk about the rear view mirror here and I did spend some time cleaning up the original one that came on the car. I think I'm going to not use it though. It doesn't have the dimmer. You know it's got that little um, you can flip it. So this one here is off of an RX4. Probably going to end up using this one. It's in good shape. It's slightly bigger than the older one. Um, I also have uh, another one here with a slightly different mounting system. Um, its base is plastic, you know, with the metal pieces on the inside. Whereas over here, the metal pieces are on this tang mounted to the arm. I could make that work, and this is a nice mirror. But I think I'm going to probably just go with the RX4 one, which has already got the right base. And uh, I mean, that's already mounted in the car. up there. I'll wipe that off. Okay, there we go. Now that I've got it in the car, it's just got all these, you know, it's chalky, even though I hit it with black wow. It just looks old and like it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and use this other one. It's probably an RX4. I don't exactly remember what model it came off of. The base plate is the same bolt pattern. So the problem is, is this, this space in here where this notch is in different from what came on an RX-3. So this is probably an RX-4 and this base plate is plastic, you know, with the little metal insert pieces. Gonna have to go with it. It's just in much better shape than the other one. Now that it's in the car, I'm just like not happy. And this base plate needs to be swapped out. Easy. nighttime. That's something that the OEM mirror in the RX3 didn't have. So now we have that. Okay, that's a much better mirror. I'm really good at taking a 10 minute job making it an all-day deal I'm really good at that <laughs> 